Welcome to this uh, media briefing. I welcome the U.S. Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin, and his distinguished delegation. Today we stand before you, having just concluded a highly productive meeting between the Ministry of Defense of the Republic of Kenya and the United States Department of Defense. Subsequently, I'm delighted to announce that we have just signed a framework for defense cooperation spanning the years 2023 to 2028. This framework represents a significant milestone in our bilateral relations and underscores our shared commitment to peace, security, and stability in the region and globally. Let me highlight a few key points from our deliberations. One, we reaffirmed the strong and enduring partnership between Kenya and the United States. It's not just about shared interests, but shared values, shared commitment to democracy, and a shared desire for a safe and a more prosperous world. Two, the framework places a special emphasis on enhancing military interoperability between our two militaries in an increasing complex and interconnected world. Our ability to work seamlessly together is paramount. This cooperation will enable us to respond effectively to the ever-evolving security challenges in our region and beyond. Third, Kenya has long been a contributor to international peacekeeping efforts, and we are proud to continue that tradition. The framework ensures that we receive the support and resources necessary for our operational deployment. In this respect, we remain committed to contributing to global peace and security. More importantly, our discussion opened avenues for exploring and expanding cooperation in the field of defense technology and innovation. We believe this framework will not only enhance our defense capabilities, but also contribute to our economic growth through joint ventures and technology sharing. This framework is a symbol of our shared vision for a better tomorrow. Both Kenya and the United States are driven by a common purpose, and together we will navigate the challenges that lie ahead. In conclusion, I want to express my gratitude to Secretary Austin and his team for their commitment to this partnership. Together, we are charting a course towards safer, more secure, more prosperous future for our nations and the world at large. I now invite U.S. Secretary of Defense to make his remarks.